Welcome back, Commander. That camera's still running. Center. Sound hardware initialized. This program will install Command and Conquer to the following directory. If you wish to install to another directory and or drive, please type it in below. Thank you. Installing. Please stand by. While you are waiting, please fill out your registration card and send it in. For last minute changes in notes, please examine the README file. Installation complete. The Grain Trade Center in Vienna was the 17th urban bombing in four weeks, blamed on Nod terrorists. The Security Commission remains in close session tonight following Nod terrorist actions in Slovenia. At least your mother tipped well. Harsh, unforgiving wilderness. New Tiberium harvesting methods instituted by the Brotherhood of Nod increase profitability by 49%. Nod Tiberium holdings now account for almost half of the world's known supply, giving the quasi-terrorist group incredible leverage in the London Gold Exchange. On the domestic side... <laughs> cover of Tiberium ignored reporters at Hong Kong's Second World Tiberium Economic Impact Summit. Mobius is expected to refute charges from the scientific community that Tiberium might be dangerous. Only ma alone al asfor. As the GDI forces take off in another Nod assault, the free world holds its breath. This is Greg Burdett, WWN, somewhere in the Mediterranean. Are you picking this up? Deactivate your defense matrix. Are you picking this up? Good. I know you need more deep background, but we're up against it. Nod forces have fortified this beachhead at X16Y42. Intelligence is still coming in, so we can't tell you a lot. But we found a chink in their armor. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces on shore right here. You may get some artillery support from his gunboats, but this is mostly grunt work. 
Your mission is simple. Knock out all fortifications, eliminate all Nod troops, and establish a beachhead by building your base. Good luck. Good job with the beachhead, Commander. It's time to bring you up to speed on Nod so you know what you're dealing with. This is Cain, the self-appointed leader of the Brotherhood of Nod. Stand by, I'll link us up. Condition critical. Know why Nod had this beach bottled up? They're protecting a the big Tiberium refinery that intelligence somehow missed. We need backup now. Not troops are pouring out of their base, strangling our foothold. We gotta knock out that refinery, eliminate all Nod forces before we lose our position. I don't know how long we can hold out. Damn. You heard the man. What are you waiting for? I know I promised more deep background on Kane and Nod, but there'll be time for that later. Carter says you hit the ground fighting. Nice job. Now we need that again. Somewhere in this section is a Nod base. It's protected against airstrikes by Nod SAM sites. Knock them out so Colonel Morelli can provide air support. That should make it easier for you to take out the base. I'll be out of the loop for a couple of days doing civvy time at the UN. Don't let me down. Sanctioned by the United Nations, the Global Defense Initiative has one goal. Eliminate multinational terrorism in an effort to preserve freedom. The Brotherhood of Nod, an ancient and secret society, maintains strong ties with most global terrorist organizations. Commanded by this man, known only as Kane, Nod's long-term goals are unknown. However, recent activities include expansionary behavior into disenfranchised nations, high-volume investment in global trade markets, and aggressive manipulation of international mass media. These efforts are suspected to be funded by Nod's access to vast Tiberium deposits.
Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, which in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. Delta Sierra Echo to Commander, approaching next objective. Welcome to the lovely town of Bialystok. Silent sight, huh? A ham SOS from here said Nod forces were en route. Haven't reached Shepard, so I can't confirm, but I'm 99% sure Shep would want you to take Bialystok before Nod does. Backup's on the way, but I can't say when it'll get there. You're on point. Give him hell. Delta Sierra Echo to Commander, approaching our next objective. We're just crossing the Bolaris border, and we've got a problem. Nod ambushed one of our convoys and made off with a good supply of activated pellet rods. Sounds harmless, right? Well, those rods are step one in slapping together a nuclear device. We gotta get them back. Shepard's still offline, so we're acting without confirmation, but I'm betting that this is too important to wait. Take a small force into the naughty camp and get those rods back before their birds can pick them up. The rods were packed in transport crates. I doubt Nod's had time to transfer them, but who knows. Keep your eyes open. Give them hell. War-torn Bialystok. Once well, a happy farming town for peace-loving peasants. Today, a slaughterhouse. Yet one more casualty in the insane GDI assault against mankind. Yet another in a series of villages wiped off the earth by the Global Defense Initiative and its misguided leader, General Mark Shepard. And what crime did Bialystok commit to warrant said carnage? Sources indicate the GDI terrorists were convinced that this simple hamlet was involved in the manufacture and shipping of Tiberium. When will this madness end? Only one General Shepard and his vision of one world order is stopped. This is Greg Burdett, Bialystok. Cut. Excellent. Now, do it again in French and German. I want 300 copies made and sent to every TV station in Europe. We have the satellite for another 10 minutes. Is that camera still running? It's a lie, all of it. GDI wouldn't slaughter children. Was Bialystok a Tiberium Center? Isn't this another incident of GDI reacting to incorrect information? Any comment? Should GDI funding be cut? Nod forces severely damaged GDI base in your area. Critical shortage of weapons and manpower. Find GDI base and return it to operational status.
Carter here. It's absolutely essential that you get this infantry commando across the Making sure to avoid all Just enough time to plan to get the hell back out. Hunt. Don't bother with Was there confusion with that last directive? We wanted you to take everything out, but not still there. We can supply you with full force now, but it's imperative that this mission be completed. Wipe out Nod presence using all available forces. Oh, and FYI, institute maximum care when transporting captured Tiberium. It seems to display negative effects on some individuals. Out. World news and opinion. Six critical items transmitted. Ground and air skirmishes between Nod and GDI forces escalated today when Nod, reacting to recent GDI funding cuts, launched a full-scale ground attack against GDI troops in Africa. GDI spokesmen continue to deny rumors of continued weapons tests involving orbiting laser cannons capable of leveling entire armies in seconds. The exclusive photos smuggled out of the World Tiberium Research Center show evidence of serious ecological consequences in Tiberium-rich areas. Whether these unusual effects on plant life have any relationship to recent reports of Tiberium poisoning in humans remains to be seen. And the death toll so far? God only knows. This is Greg Burdett standing in front of what GDI terrorists have left for the St. Olofsky Orphanage. Don't look so surprised, Commander. And don't look around for your Eva, it can't help you now. Well, what shall we talk about, hmm? Your powerful GDI forces have been emasculated, and you yourself are a killer of children. Now, of course, it's not true. But the world only believes what the media tells them to believe. And I tell the media what to believe. It's really quite simple. Oh, there's your little pet. But now that I know where you live, Commander, it's only a matter of time. Were I in your shoes, I would spend my last earthly hours enjoying the world. Of course, if you wish, you can spend them fighting for a lost cause. But you know that you've lost. Defense Condition Field Briefing GDI equipment in Area 18 is in urgent need of repair.
This mission is of great tactical importance. Nod forces still threaten Salzburg. GDI needs to establish headquarters for rapid GDI deployment. Your mission. Repair as many ground weapons, armored vehicles, and buildings as possible. Defense Condition Field Briefing Serious Threat to Civilian Population in Area 24 Just Within Bratislavian Border This mission is of great tactical importance Civilians sick or dying from Tiberium poisoning. Dr. Mobius setting up research hospital site. Your mission, protect Mobius, his staff, and civilian population at all costs. Welcome to the big time, Commander. You haven't really arrived until Kane has sicked his media ninjas on you at least once. I'm pinch hitting for Shepard since no one's really sure where he is right now. It's the wrong time to take a vacation. We're down about 60% manpower from the tea poison. Now here's your objective. You got the Hiverian River running through here about six knots, okay? And here... And here, you got Nod Bunkers. Here's what I need from you, pal. Take out the bunkers so I can get my convoy through at 0200. You might create a little guerrilla diversion along the way, just in case some of the Noddies don't get the message. Just enough to cover me until I get into range of their power base. Then all you have to do is sit back and watch the fireworks as my team shows them what kick-ass is really all about. Right her out. Attention. Stand by for Tiberium Dangers update. Tiberium is named after the Tiber River in Italy where it was first discovered.
there are now more than 200 areas of the Earth affected by Tiberium deposits. Tiberium appears to be spreading by means of conveyance unknown. Dr. Mobius, tell our viewers just what Tiberium really is. Molecularly, it's a non-carbon-based element that appears to have strong ferrous qualities with non-resonating reversible energy that has a tendency to disrupt carbon-based molecular structures with inconsequent and in, in, uh, unequal positrons orbiting on the first, second, and ninth quark rings. Whoa, is that good or bad? Ooh, let me put it this way, Eddie. The possibilities of Tiberium are limitless. Well, um, now let me ask you, by limitless, you say that... We now know that not only does Tiberium leach elements from the soil, but it appears to also leach vital nutrients from all plant life. Human contact with Tiberium is extremely toxic and often fatal. Exposure should be avoided. Commander, you've been hustled. The UN wasn't against me. Not all of them, at least. But we had to play that little game to lull Kane into a false sense of security. I've unlocked some new UN funding. It should help take care of this madman for good. Morelli, we got some new toys for you. You've read the classified briefings about Orca, and here she is. I need you and Morelli to take a couple of these babies up and put them through the mill. Concentrate on a radius of 50 miles around Trieste, Sylvania, and see what you can scout up. Commander, the stakes have risen. One of our operatives, codenamed Delphi, stopped transmitting just as he was about to reveal the location of Kane's research center. He's experimenting with Tiberium, injecting the stuff into human guinea pigs. Delphi also has routes and times of the top secret convoy Kane's taken to Bosnia. Once you've landed on this beach and fought your way through non-security, find Delphi and Kane hasn't killed him. Get his information. Over and out. GDI-funded research shows the following incidents of Tiberium-related illnesses. Respiratory ailments. Reproductive ailments. Immune system ailments. Tiberium related deaths. Spores emitted by Tiberium infected plants appear to be a source of Tiberium related illnesses. The world scientific community is focusing its research on this deadly spore. Tiberium is a new life form. Quite simply put, it seems to be adapting the Earth's terrain, foliage, and environment to suit its own alien nature. If this is the case, ladies and gentlemen, we are facing a killer beyond that of our most turbulent nightmares. 
It is not an exaggeration to state that the future of the entire planet may be in jeopardy. May God have mercy on our souls. Sorry to interrupt your briefing, Commander, but we need your help now. Kane discovered we were hiding Mobius, and he's throwing everything at us but the kitchen sink. It's up to you to mobilize the strike force. Acquire Mobius and rendezvous with the rescue choppers. Mobius may be crazy, but he holds the key to this Tiberium riddle. Good luck. This is what it's all about. We've cornered Kane in his biochemical research laboratory. Fight your way to the lab and level it. Intelligence informs us that Kane's on site, so complete destruction is imperative. This ought to help. The boys at R&D have completed preliminary testing on the Ion Cannon, the next generation of strategic defense armaments. Its geosynchronous orbit gives it a target divergence factor of 8 to 1. It's an awesome weapon the most powerful in our arsenal. You fought long and hard, Commander, and it's all come down to this. We're with you. Good luck. I owe you an apology, Commander. I got it wrong. Kane ducked out of the lab when he lost our satellite feed. He's slippery, but his days are numbered. His troops are squeezing through this ravine right here, apparently in an attempt to regroup with Prime HQ. If you're quick enough, you can pick off the entire Nod column as they roll through, while our field strategists plot the location of that main base. It's fish in a barrel time, Commander. We found him, Commander. Kane's temple and base of operations. This field operative's covert transmission came to us live just five minutes ago, so there's no doubt that Kane's inside. He surrounded himself with his own crack militia. Getting to him won't be easy. Ironic, isn't it? Kane's planted his temple just outside of Sarajevo. If that sounds familiar, it's because that's where another madman started World War I. And here we are, trying to stop this madman from doing it again. Commander, there is to be no quarter given. No leniency in dealing with Cain and his zealots. Wipe his temple off the face of the earth. Destroy the bastard. Or prepare to die trying. I... We've taken Siri. The temple's been blown all the hell. We need to get out of here before... Sir, Topside has suffered significant damage. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 minutes.
United Nations officials have confirmed that Global Defense Initiative assault troops successfully attacked and destroyed the alleged Sarajevo headquarters of the Brotherhood of Nod. This ends a three-day siege which saw GDI and Nod forces engaged in mortal combat. Eyewitnesses and survivors report that, although evenly matched, the GDI forces employed superior tactics and strategy outmaneuvering Nod in what was termed an epic battle. Quoting from a written statement issued earlier today, UN Secretary of Defense Dr. Charles Olivetti praised the men and women of the UN-funded GDI, calling them, quote, tireless defenders of freedom and heroes to history, unquote. Although refusing to disclose specific totals, Dr. Olivetti confirmed reports that heavy casualties were sustained by both sides. Kane, the single-named charismatic Nod leader and self-proclaimed prophet, is among those missing and assumed dead. Discovery and destruction of the Nod Command Center ends more than three years of continued escalating violence sparked by that organization's international terrorist activities. World reaction has been mixed. Slavic Prime Minister Yuri Kalenko denied accusations of The temple's been blown all to hell. We need to get out of here before... Sir, topside has suffered significant damage. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 minutes.
United Nations spokesmen have confirmed that massive destruction to the alleged Sarajevo headquarters of the world terrorist organization known as the Brotherhood of Nod was the direct result of an orbiting satellite weapon described by officials as an ion cannon. Destruction of the site ended a three-day siege which saw GDI and Nod forces engaged in mortal combat. Eyewitnesses and survivors report that the skirmish may have continued for weeks had it not been for the awesome offensive power of the satellite-based air-to-land cannon. Quoting from a prepared statement issued earlier today, UN Secretary of Defense Dr. Charles Olivetti confirmed that heavy casualties were sustained by Nod forces. However, the use of the Star Wars technology cut GDI and civilian losses to, quote, technically acceptable levels, unquote. Contradicting earlier UN Security Council denials, Dr. Olivetti confirmed that the ion cannon has, in fact, been under development for several years. Discovery and destruction of the Nod Command Center ends more than three years of continued escalating violence sparked by that organization's international terrorist activities. Southwest Sector 9. Someone jamming the secure channel, sir. You'll come for the sunshine, but you'll stay for the people. What the hell is this? It's not possible. Punch up the mainstream. If I am cut, do I not bleed? It would be a sad error in judgment, General Solomon, to mistake me for a corpse. My judgment is sound, Kane. And I'm not afraid of ghosts or you. Perhaps you should be. I've seen the future. Our Tiberian future. And as you watch this battle just beginning to unfold, I've already seen the final act. It is my destiny to lead the way for all mankind. Mankind has forgotten you, Kane. <laughs> Signal, sir. He's in the southwest. Get me McNeil.
Chandra. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna need you. What do you ask, Secure Channel 4. Good to see you again, Mac. I wish it were under better circumstances. It's a light show, all right. It's more than that. It's Kane. Sir? We lost contact with Phoenix at 0800 Zulu. I'm not losing that base, Mac. I'll give you a squad of our best jump troopers to clear the way for your arrival. Good luck, Commander. The game's afoot. Kick some ass. Nice job, McNeil. Nod is on the run. And I wish we could say the same for Phoenix. We just recovered this transmission. Smile for the camera, Commander. We must look our best when the Brotherhood comes to visit. The least you could do is wear a tie. That drug-dealing animal hey, is... Yeah. King of the eye candy trade. He's been dealing that poison for years. Looks to me like he's his own best customer. Get back there, take out the SAM sites, then destroy the Nod base. The Ava unit has the data. Forward scout reporting in north of Sector 9. No sign of Vega and his men, but they've found something. I've never seen anything like it, sir. It's easily the size of one of our carriers, but... But what? I don't think humans made this, sir. Pull back, soldier! We're closing in on the site now. What's that recon tell us? Nod forces have been detected six miles west of the site. It may be a possible staging area for Vega's troops. If we take the staging base out first, it'll be a hell of a lot easier to get to the crash site. Ava, do you think they can hold out that long? Respect. Are we talking aliens here, sir? The sooner we get inside that thing, the sooner we'll know what the hell we're talking about. That UFO's got secrets, Mac. Secrets Kane does not want to share. Protect that craft at all costs. you want your head cut off. I don't. I can help you. I 
can help you find Vega. Vega? The Brotherhood holds our leader, Tratos, in a highly secured medical colony south of here. We don't have the resources to break him out without you. But you can't find Vega without us. Why should I trust you? Unlike you blunts, the Forgotten are a people of honor. I have pinpointed the location of the Nod prison camp. An array of sensor towers has been installed around the perimeter. If we don't take that array out first, they'll know we're coming. Tratus will be killed. Ava, give us an approach assessment. still out, but he'll live. As long as he lives long enough to tell us where Vega is, I'll be happy. Do you love nothing? I love to win. Our deal is done, Blunt. Oh my god! What's happening? No! No! It's a Pentasi. A vision. Cain has the Tacitus. According to Tratos, Vega's base is 760 clicks south. The ion storms have knocked out our satellites. He pulls his power from an old dam nearby, which is heavily protected by a large base. Taking out the dam and the power plants first will neutralize enemy air defenses. Well, our approach to Vega's fortress would be easier. Are you with me, Ava? Enforcements. You must send help! You'll find there is surprisingly little I must do, General Vega. Kane, I served you for years! Emergency deployment. Immediate launch. Perhaps when McNeil arrives to kill you, you'll take some time to learn from the man. I'm sure he'll teach you lessons you'll carry with you the rest of your life. Which, by the way, is about seven minutes. <laughs> I'm dead. your brain, you're gonna tell me what happened to the rest of that ship. What happened to the technology that you and Kane stole off that UFO? <laughs> Kane didn't steal it. He made it. He's got the Tacitus. What does Kane have? What is his Tacitus? So, I have some very bad news. Forces have broken through our European perimeters, Mac. They've taken Hammerfest. Hammerfest? We think they're after our disruptor technology, the sonic crystals. I need your forces ready for immediate deployment. 
destroy everything Nod has there. Get them off our base! Mac, wasn't your brother in Hammerfest? See this, sir. Now that I've destroyed Hammerfest and stolen GDI's sonic crystals, I, I felt it would be bad form to leave without expressing my gratitude, Commander. I'm something of a tank enthusiast, and the sonic tank will make an excellent addition to my collection. Oh, by the way, sorry to hear about your brother, McNeil. I hear he died a very slow. We're picking up sonic vibrations from a not bullet train here to the south. It's got to be the crystals. If we hit the train before it gets to the not base, we might have a chance of getting them back. We can't let Kane get his hands on those crystals, Mac. First missiles landed here, starting some sort of chain reaction. The Earth is reformatting at the atomic level into pure toxic Tiberium. No one has ever seen anything like it. It's Armageddon. It's the Tacitus. Kane has unlocked its secrets. The Tacitus is nothing but a Shiner myth. If we're gonna stop Kane, we have to shut down those missiles. Ava? There is some ion storm interference. However, I detect a large Nod Tiberium missile production facility on the edge of my sensor range near Hamburg. Shut it down, Mac. There is also a Nod supply base 75 clicks north of the missile factory. Destroying it first will make your primary objective easier to achieve. Blunt. Mac. Many of my people are being experimented on at the Nod Cyberg plant south of Hamburg. If you will escort them to your evac center, they'll help you destroy the Nod supply base and the missile production center. First, rescue Hamburg. The Shiners can wait, and that is an order. What about the civilians on the evac shuttle, sir? These are some scary-looking Shiners. Kane's been using Tiberium to manipulate their DNA for cyber production. They say they had some information on an underground Nod power station that deep the Tiberian missile plant. Sir, they're ready to fight. Well, maybe we should give them a chance, a little payback. Suit them up, we'll go out to the supply base. And we'll find out what they really know about this power grid. Sure you know where this train is headed? You sure you brought enough C4? There's enough explosives in the next car to blow us back in time. Just make sure you sink the stuff at all the power plants. No detonation until we get back above ground. Agreed? Agreed. Detonate when ready. My friend. Get in there and knock this missile plant out, Mac. Its destructive power is hard to believe. If there really is a Tacitus, and Kane has it, we'll lose. And I hate to lose. Basic maneuvers, landing on the right. Nod forces have deployed an unidentified fighter prototype, sir. All forces converge in the missile plant. I will write a letter of complaint, sir, if we make it out alive. Paris wishes to speak with you. We must stop, Kane. He has gained the ability to control Tiberium's effects, to reform the planet so that it supports another kind of life. 
Tiberium-based life. The Tacitus explains how it is to be done. How can you be sure of this? Because I translated it for him. I have betrayed the world. Sir, I think I know what Kane is up God to. God damn it, Mac. Find out where those fighters are coming from and shut them down. I don't care what it takes. Ava, fill him in. Sat recon suggests that the fighters are flying out of a secret Nod base in East Northeast Sector 7. Nod is using a stealth generator to cloak their base. Ghost Stalker and I will take a squad of our own people in ahead. We know how to hide from them. They won't cloak the base if they don't know we're there. I think it's too dangerous. Let's get something straight. I don't take orders from you. I'm not fighting this war for you. I fight for the Forgotten. systems are blind, sir. The ship's status is non-operational until the ion storm passes. Damn the storm. Not now. I can't wait forever, McNeil. If I must take the fight to you... It's a fight you will lose. I've already won the fight. As we speak, the Earth is transforming itself into a virgin paradise, an Eden, awaiting the birth of a new race, a race of which you will be the newest member in a matter of hours. McNeil will come. He stopped your missiles. He'll stop you. It's time you saw the future. While you still have human eyes. I have concentrated enough Tiberium in this single warhead to convert the entire planet. He'll never fire it. You should pray that I do. I doubt there'd be much of a life for a freak like you in GDI's sanitized world. Prepare the patient for her final Tiberium enhancement. And let's send a little welcoming party for her friends. What is that? We better get hot right now! Battle stations! Protect the Kodiak at all costs! mounted a full counterattack. We've hit him on the southern front, but... Distress call coming in, sir. Source, outside Cairo. Boosted! I fear my mission has failed. At Cain's temple in Cairo, I found a missile that will soon destroy the Earth. An Umagon. Ava, green light all forces. Captain. Set coordinates for Cairo. Okay. We need a larger attack force. More time to plan. If Cain's back is to the wall, he could unleash the Tiberium effect all over the world. I will not authorize it. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going in. Let it go! Still giving orders, Commander. You really should learn to pay attention. I have your muted, and I have your mind. Kill him! Forget about me! Don't let him win! Your missile's grounded. It's over. No only delaying the inevitable. I have the Tacitus. I am invincible. The 
Tacitus told me of Tiberium missiles, of invulnerable flying ships, of real-time genetic mutation. More than alien, more than human. The next step in our evolution as a species. You're not God, Kane. No, I'm not God. But I'm a close second. Ah! Oh! Ah! Tiberian sun has risen! Not in my world! That's an order. Might, might also kill her. We have to test it. I could save my people. If this is a... If I... Thanks, Mac. Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander. Today's threat level is low. The state of the planet is deteriorating. Tiberium infestation has reached critical levels. Red zones have suffered the worst contamination and cannot support human life. Yellow zones are dangerously contaminated, but contain most of the world's population. Decades of war and civil unrest have left these regions in a state of social collapse. The Brotherhood of Nod operates virtually unchallenged in these zones. They take advantage of the chaos to recruit members and disguise their military infrastructure. Nod's leader is a charismatic figure we know only as Kane. Kane is determined to accelerate the spread of Tiberium, believing it is the catalyst for the next stage of human evolution. However, in recent years, the Brotherhood has been suspiciously quiet, with little terrorist activity. The remainder of the Earth's surface is unscarred by Tiberium outbreak. These blue zones are considered the last refuge and hope of the civilized world, and are under the protection of the Global Defense Initiative. You have been assigned command of the GDI forces stationed on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Good luck, Commander. Commander, General Jack Granger, good to have you on board. These, these are interesting times. I don't know if you know it, but InOps has downgraded Nod's threat level to low. With Kane apparently dead, Nod's been fractured by internal power struggles. Recruitment's down 25% and they've abandoned four bases in the last year. The prediction is another decade of peace. Me, I say it's the calm before the storm. 28 years of fighting out, there's one thing I can say with absolute certainty. 
As long as there's Tiberium on Earth, not as a serious threat. If our intel says otherwise, it's because Nod wants us to take them off our radar. That's why I want you to go to North Carolina. Zone security stop would look like a Protoss delivery truck yesterday, but it turned out to be a Nod vehicle. Before it could be searched, the driver blew it up himself along with it. I want you to take some troops down there, see what you can turn up. Hopefully I'm wrong and this is just a false alarm. But if I'm right, be prepared for the worst. This is Lieutenant Santa Telfair. She's from InOps. She'll give you all the details of the mission. Lieutenant? Thank you. Good afternoon, Commander. Glad to be of service. Here's what we know so far. After the delivery truck incident, we turned Sky Sentry onto the area. And bingo, we located a high output subterra energy grid in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, Nod's up to no good. Your ace in the hole is an old base we have there. Bring it back online and you can recon the entire area. My advice is to engage the enemy only if necessary. No telling what those maniacs are hiding down there. Good luck, Commander. I'm here if you need me. Commander, Nod's clearly planning something, and judging by the size of that force you exposed, it's a major offensive. Now, I've already called for a, an emergency D-9 briefing, but the timing couldn't be worse. All the directors are up in the Philadelphia at that damn energy summit, and I'm God knows... I'm sorry to interrupt, General. I've just been informed. There's been an attack on Goddard Space Center in Maryland. We should be receiving visual data any second. Good Lord. Do you realize what they've done? Nods has just taken out the entire Northeastern ASAT defense system, all our anti-missile capability. The Philadelphia. Heaven help us. And in global news today, the annual GDI Energy Summit is still underway aboard the space station Philadelphia. Our own Cassandra Blair reports on the landmark goals set for this year's summit. When top administrators return to work here tomorrow, they're hoping for a new fiscal agenda. According to Director Kinsberg, one of the key talking points for this year's summit is shifting resource allocation from defense to ecology, where the eradication of Tiberium is now viewed as a more pressing concern than the containment of... Excuse, excuse the interruption, but we're getting breaking news on the Philadelphia. Apparently, just moments ago, there was an accident. That's obviously something has gone terribly wrong. We're going to do our best to confirm what we're all seeing, but this time, we have no idea what possibly could have caused a tragedy this magnitude. We're going to go live now to Cassandra Blair back outside the Northeastern Admin Building. Cassandra. William, William, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's incredible. There's so much smoke, you can't see more than 10 meters, and there's debris falling all over the city. Ah! Unbelievable. The destruction of the Philadelphia was not an accident. It was a merciful bullet to the head of a malignant ideology. It was the death of fear and the birth of hope. Rejoice, children of Nod, the blood of your oppressors will flow and 50 years of tyranny will finally end. Transformation is coming. A new day will dawn. The future is ours. Unbelievable. Hold on. We're getting breaking news now from our Northwestern affiliate. And they just came out of nowhere. No warning, nothing. Bombs started dropping. And from what we can tell, there is no sign of GDI retaliation at all. It's just a massacre. Commander, all hell's broken loose. Nod's launched preemptive strikes in every major blue zone across the board. Most of our troops are pinned down. Our ASAT defense system is still offline, and I have no goddamn idea who's running the show at GDI. This is no time to stand on protocol. The entire northeastern seaboard's been overrun, and we're taking the worst of it right here in D.C. General, they're starting evac procedures. 
You go ahead, Sandra. Sir, you can't wait here. That is an order, Sandra. Sir. Kirsty James and theater ops will bring you up to speed. It's all on you now, Commander. I need you to take back this city. All right, Commander, here's the latest. Nod forces are going in for the kill, closing in on the Pentagon. As you know, there is no more vital structure in the region. It is the center of our command and control network. If we lose the Pentagon, it could be the beginning of the end. You cannot let this happen. Good work, Commander. You secured the Pentagon. Unfortunately, the whole region is still in danger. We have multiple hotspots up and down the coast. If you retake Langley Air Force Base, you'll have air support for all the remaining battles. Or you can go after Hampton Roads. Nod's landing troops there, retaking that base cuts off Nod's supply lines, reducing their ability to reinforce and gaining you access to APCs. With those two assets secure, you can focus on the rest of DC. Well, Commander, you've done good. DC is back in our control. We also have a new acting director, Redmond Boyle. He's the former GDI Treasury Commissioner. I know what you're thinking, but that's our succession protocol. Everybody above Boyle in the chain of command went down with the Philadelphia. Look, the good news is Boyle's a sharp man with control of the purse strings, and we're going to need every penny we have to win. Excuse me, General, but I thought you should know... Never mind. General Granger, Redmond Boyle, this is an honor. Truly. You had no idea it was coming. I apologize. But I was touring the area, and I wanted to stop by and offer my gratitude for what you're doing. Well, don't thank me, Director. Thank the Commander. Commander! Great to have you on our side. Your efforts on the battlefield have been an inspiration to us all, but I encourage us not to rest on our laurels. We cannot be content to simply take back what was ours in the first place. If not once a war, let's give them one. A war to end their reign of terror once and for all. But first things first. Finish what you started here in DC, Commander. Take back the city. Show the world the tide is turning. Well, less than 24 hours ago, this entire northeastern blue zone was under siege from Nod. GDI forces were overwhelmed. Their command center was about to fall, and the free world was literally hanging in the balance. But one brave battle commander led a string of victories in D.C. that seemed to inspire yet more GDI victories all across the globe. It's heartening to know that GDI has really come out swinging. Yes, yeah, very heartening. We're putting up one hell of a fight out there. But William, I disagree with your assessment that the outcome of this war is still in doubt. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that GDI will prevail. We will have the will, the resources, and most importantly, support of the people. The public wants payback, an eye for an eye. And that's exactly what we're going to give them. The question then seems to be, can you deliver on this promise? Several conflict analysts are citing your lack of wartime experience as a cause for concern. I believe in my generals and commanders. They are the best of the best. And I believe they deserve not only the trust of myself and my administration, but the trust of the people. Because that is who we are fighting for, who we are fighting to protect. Undermining that critical bond of trust between a people and their protectors is, I believe, a mistake. Commander, no matter what you've seen on the news, you mark my words, this war is far from over. We've still got a number of blue zones up for grabs that could go either way, but that's not what's bothering me. Come here. 
InOps has been interrogating some non POWs and they've come across a couple spotting similar threats here. Have a look. This is only the beginning. Fire will fall from the skies. Disease will waste your bodies. And your souls will cry for forgiveness. But Cain unleash his fury! It could be typical Nod rhetoric, but it sounds to me like they're getting ready to use WMDs. That's why I'm sending you to North Africa. If Nod's got the goods, that's where you'll find them. Hopefully a preemptive strike will nip this nightmare in the bud. Oh, and Commander, let's keep this one off the radar. The public's already scared enough. Sanders busy putting all the pieces together. You can get all the pertinent details from Kersey. That'll be all. Commander, the situation in North Africa is still very fluid. Egypt is the primary target here. We just learned an irrigation plant just outside of Kasabad is a front for a Nod chemical weapons factory. Obviously, we need to shut this down. To the north is the port of Alexandria, where Nod is distributing their weapons to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, it gets worse. We believe that Nod is assembling nuclear weapons in an underground facility in northern Cairo, which may explain why the area is so heavily defended. Anyway, the first step in cleaning up this sector is to take out that chemical weapons factory in Kasabad. Good, you're back, Commander. The facility you captured in Kasabad turned out to be a treasure trove of information. Unfortunately, the situation's worse than I feared. Not as building a Tiberium weapon. Dr. Giraud down at GTEC is leading the analysis team. Doctor, what else can you tell us? Nod has found a way to weaponize liquid Tiberium. This much is certain. Our raw data is still preliminary, but we believe a liquid Tiberium explosion would have a yield roughly 10 times greater than a 200 megaton thermonuke. Now, with a proper catalyst, such a blast may also create a self-sustaining exothermic reaction. You're talking about a chain reaction. Precisely. Any proximate Tiberium deposit, liquid or crystal, would be instantly detonated. My God, in a yellow zone. That could be thousands and thousands of acres. Thank you, Doctor. Keep me informed. This changes everything. Commander, seizing that liquid Tiberium device before Nod deploys it, that has to become our number one priority. I want you to take out that port in Alexandria. We can't let them start exporting components out of Egypt. When you've put those problems to bed, then you can focus on Cairo. Leaked reports of Nod using WMDs has paralyzed an already reeling populace here in Vancouver. But we've just learned that a series of daring GDI raids in North Africa have eliminated the WMD threat. Driving Nod forces in the region underground. However, we now have word that Nod forces are starting to converge on Sarajevo. There's even some speculation that a new Nod temple may have been secretly constructed beneath the ruins of their old temple, destroyed back in the First Tiberian War. I'm sorry, but I do not have reliable intel on this new Nod temple in Sarajevo at this time. That's what you said about the Kasabad lab. But clearly, somebody in the military had that intel. Evidently. But one simple communications error is nothing to start a controversy over. The situation has been rectified, I assure you. Uh, next. Does that mean you're now making all the strategic military decisions? Oh, no, that's what I call jumping to conclusions. Look, will I be deciding how many tanks to deploy, what kind of missiles to fire, what color camouflage to wear? Of course not. But I will be involved in all of the important decisions from this point forward. Believe me, Nod will reap what it sowed. Mr. Boyle is correct about one thing. Nod will reap what it has sown, the seeds of GDI's destruction. Righteousness has only one allegiance, and that is to the oppressed. Our sacred brotherhood, inheritors of this glorious Tiberian world. Look to the skies, my children. A new dawn is rising in the east. 
Ascension awaits the faithful. I took an action that I thought to be correct. I understand, General. But I cannot, I will not, be out of the loop again. Commander, just the man I wanted to see. I've been giving a great deal of thought to our strategy in Sarajevo, and I believe our next move must be emphatic. Nothing less than the annihilation of Nod's temple. That is out of the question. We've already wasted way too many assets trying to take down that goddamn temple. Now, fair enough. But I refuse to believe we haven't learned tactical lessons from those losses. Our troops are spread thin. We cannot afford any more expensive lessons. But we can't afford General his hesitation. We all saw Kane's broadcast. Time is of the essence here. GDI needs a major victory. Something the media can get behind and run with. And I, for one, have every confidence that our commander can deliver it. I hope I've made myself clear. Yes, sir. This mission is ill-advised, to say the least. But if you're going to take it on, you'll need to establish a foothold in the region. Work from there. Because we will walk you through the appropriate strategy. Good luck. During the Second Tiberium War, we set up a forward base in Croatia. It's fallen under heavy attack from Nod. But if you can secure it, we'll send a supply convoy to establish a strong foothold in the region. Once that's in place, we can cut off Nod's supply lines and then mount an attack on Kane's little hideout in Sarajevo. Good luck, Commander. You'll need it. Although Kane and much of his inner circle are believed to have been killed, the explosion also detonated a liquid Tiberium deposit hidden beneath the temple itself, producing deadly fallout and radiation levels over most of Eastern Europe. It's still unclear at this time if this was an accident or a final desperate act of terrorism by Kane. So far, the only response from GDI has been this statement from Acting Director Boyle. All those innocent lives lost, it's just unthinkable. But if there's a silver lining to this terrible tragedy, it's the fact that Cain's reign of terror has finally ended. And for that, I think we should all be eternally grateful. We just got word. JPL Deep Space Net is picking up six unidentified objects heading towards Earth at near relativistic speeds. It looks like they're going to try and enter our orbit. Do we know where they're from? It's unclear. We started tracking them in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. Thanks. What is this, Adler? The ion cannon's been engaged, sir. On whose authority? Director Boyle. Here it is, sir, on Sat 3. Fifteen thirty-seven Eastern Standard Time, 39 alien spacecraft crashed into red zones on every continent. While the source and purpose of these aircraft remains unknown, there's no mystery about their intentions.
Commander, what I'm about to tell you is highly classified information. In 2028, GDI confiscated a very sophisticated data matrix from Nod. It's clearly not of this Earth. They call it the Tacitus. We've been decrypting it here at InOps. And all we know for certain is that the data contained a warning about a future alien invasion. The connection between the liquid Tiberium explosion and this invasion seems, well, beyond coincidence. Whatever the connection, it's not just blue zones bearing the brunt. Several prominent yellow zones are also under attack, and Nod's been unable to mount a defense. Which puts the burden squarely on GDI. I'm not going to mince words, Commander. The situation is extremely dire. But you're the best we've got. So I'm giving you the worst mission on the board. Germany. Kersey will show you what you're up against. I still can't believe this is actually happening. All right, Commander. I don't know how much you've heard about New Eden. It was the first blue zone to be reclaimed from a yellow zone. Since then, it has become a secret research hub for GDI, particularly in Munich, where our future tech lab was compiling a full analysis of the invaders' operations. Unfortunately, Munich is already under assault and the FT lab's been destroyed. Several engineers were able to escape and are in a convoy heading for Salzburg, just outside the zone border as we speak. Commander, that convoy must reach Salzburg safely. That was nice work, Commander. Looks like these things aren't invincible after all. Of course, I'd feel a lot better about our victory if I had any idea what their agenda was beyond just wreaking havoc. But one benefit of that uncertainty is it seems to have driven Director Boyle into hiding. Our secured bunker in Reykjavik. And that's where you're supposed to be too, General. Not a chance in hell. We're going to use this time wisely, make some moves without being second-guessed. And you're the key here, Commander. I need you to turn the tide against these invaders, build up some momentum, just like you did against Nod. Anyone else I'd worry about putting too much on their shoulders, but you, you seem to want that responsibility. We don't have much time. The invaders have spread out from Munich into several other cities in the region. Kirsi will bring you up to speed. The invaders appear less concerned with taking control of our cities than with constructing massive structures in the red zones. Any attempt to impede or even investigate this activity is met with shocking force. Here to shed some light on these enemy structures is Dr. Emil Ibrahim, research manager at GDI's Future Tech Lab. First of all, Dr. Ibrahim, congratulations on your escape from Munich. Thank you, William. It was most harrowing. I can only imagine. Now, what can you tell us about these strange red zone towers? As with everything involving invaders, Tiberium is key. They utilize these green crystals in ways we cannot even imagine. We know, for instance, that Tiberium fuels their craft, their weapons, and we know these towers are made of a Tiberium composite material. What we don't know is the purpose of these towers. We have only theories. Fascinating. Just what are those theories? Could be Tiberium refineries, missile silos, even planetary destruction system. We need to get closer. We don't have enough information. Not so easy, is it? <laughs> Not so easy. Thank you, Dr. Ibrahim. Whatever these structures are, I think it's safe to say they were not built for the benefit of mankind. Commander, it's hard to believe, but all the data seems to indicate that those attacks on our cities were just a diversion away from the invaders' real agenda, building those towers. We don't know what they are, but we know they've got to come down before they're finished, and that's where you come in. Lieutenant. The largest tower, the one closest to completion, is in Italy, where this whole Tiberian mess started over 50 years ago. It's going to be tough, Commander. But if you can take down this damn thing, the hope is the rest will fall like dominoes. Here's can fill you in on our strategy. God, I hope for all our sakes this is the last mission. All right. 
Here's what we know. The invader's tower is located outside of what used to be Rome. As of this briefing, it's almost complete. What's worse is the invaders also appear to be building what seems to be a super weapon nearby. But you can't worry about that. Just focus on the tower. It's protected by some sort of phasing technology. Our best guess is that destroying all three phase generators will drop the protective field around the tower. After those generators are down, the tower should be vulnerable to an ion cannon strike. Best of luck, Commander. Excellent work, Commander. Just as we hoped, your victory set an example for the rest of our forces. Now we've got strike teams all over the board taking down those damn towers. Actually, we just got word there's only one tower still left standing. Right here in the middle of the med, or what used to be the med. And get this, the only reason why that one tower is standing is because of Nod. They've got an unusually large force there, and for reasons we can't explain, they seem to be trying to protect the tower. God only knows what they're up to, but that's not your problem, Commander. There's more work to be done in Italy. The invaders have some kind of control node here. Now, probably not a coincidence, this is Ground Zero. The first spot Tiberium appeared on Earth. According to Dr. Ibrahim, this node regulates the flow of Tiberium radiation to all their units. And without Tiberium, the units will stop functioning. Stop the units. Stop the invasion. Commander, there's something you need to know. General Granger is withholding vital intelligence from you, intelligence that could save your life. Under my guidance, GDI Weapons Tech used the materials we confiscated from Nod to build our own liquid Tiberium bomb, which I've taken the liberty of arming your troops with. Now, Granger! He'd rather have you try and gut out a victory against impossible odds. Why? Because I'm a political threat to him. If my plan wins this war, he's irrelevant. At least that's how the media will see him. But they'll see you as a hero if you end this war quickly. This isn't about me or Granger, Commander. This is about you. This is your time. Make your mark on history. In a stunning victory earlier today, GDI finally defeated the invaders. I gotta hand it to you, Commander. You beat the invaders and you did it the correct way. All the towers are down except that one in the mid. The combination of two enemies working against us was just too much. By the time we fought our way to the tower, the damn thing was impregnable. Good news is, I've been assured that it's completely inert, completely harmless. Looks like we may never know what it was built for. Anyway, I'm not sure if you've heard. Boyle resigned this morning. It was that or face war crimes for authorizing the liquid Tiberium bomb. What a disaster that would have been. But GDI has new leadership now and new hope. You're a hero, Commander. And that will be the way history remembers you. Congratulations, you deserve it. The war against the invaders ended today, but at a staggering cost. A liquid Tiberium bomb detonated by GDI in the Mediterranean Red Zone set off a chain reaction, sending shockwaves thousands of miles in every direction. So far, the death toll is over 25 million people, GDI and Nod. And scientists are predicting even more tragic fallout in the weeks and months to come. Well, the aliens are gone. All the towers are down except that one in the med. 
combination of two enemies working against us was just too much. By the time we fought our way to the tower, the damn thing was impregnable. The good news is I've been assured it's completely inert, completely harmless. It looks like we may never know what it was built for. Now, as for you, Commander, you're a disgrace to that uniform. Tens of millions dead and your entire force killed in action. I'd court-martial you myself if I could. Unfortunately, your friend Boyle's convinced the media you're a hero, so I can't touch you. You still have to live with yourself. Good luck with that. What did I tell you, Commander? History is written by the winners. One minute to the press conference, Director. So I'm sure you've heard Granger has resigned to spend more time with his family. That means my first order of business at this press conference is to put you in charge of the military. Stick with me, Commander, and we'll lead GDI to a brave new future. <laughs> Position. so close to solving the Tiberian problem. Never before have we seen such collaboration between Nod and GDI. Fifteen years have passed since Kane first... Well, it's quite simple, really. The Tacitus has provided us with an insight into Tiberium far beyond our wildest dreams. What? Tiberium control and what? No, nah, man, I'm, I'm cool, okay? And once the control network is running at 100% efficiency, we'll see a reversal in crystalline growth, even in the most contaminated zones. Yet will still be able to harness Tiberium's rich energy properties. With the Pacific Hub almost completed, GDI is expecting more terrorist activity from these not extremist groups. Kane has Kane's made a public statement condemning these radicals, saying he has nothing to do with Gideon and his splinter faction. Stay with me now. Honey, honey. And I will show you a Did world you take break from I know that you're anxious to go back. It's just that I still feel it's too soon. It's just that... <sighs> I miss you when you're on duty.
You look good. Scars are barely noticeable. You have no idea how good it feels to know that you can see me. All right, break it up. Oh. Lily, <laughs> are you on the next transport with me? Uh, no, I'm staying on board to help this guy get settled. That's too bad, because it's going to be a hell of a ceremony. All right, let me see those eyes. Damn, I do good work. Implants working OK? Broadcast coming in clear? Commander, Doctor, we are waiting on you. Right outside, Colonel. Go ahead. I'll be in the mess. I'm watching with the other families. <laughs> Showtime. Sir, I just wanted to say I was on the Methuselah. I'm alive because of you. Thank you, Sergeant Nash. Listen up, people. Some of you may have heard of the commander from his time spent serving in the incursion war last year. We thought we lost him, but he's back in action. Thanks to Dr. Pascal and his experimental optical implant. Don't worry, guys, it's safe. We've been using them down at TC and Central for months. If all goes to plan, we'll have implants fleet-wide before long. As you were? Gonna do a lot for morale having you on board. All right, we've got a motorcade to protect. Some big rig VIP. Intel reports minimal not extremist activity. But let's keep our guard up. I'd say good work if we weren't protecting a murderer. Should have just left Kane to burn. Ma'am, incoming transmission from General Riggs. Bring it up. Colonel, I like your report. That son of a bitch didn't even say thank you. I haven't been your note. <laughs> Listen, Gideon separatists are staging an attack on the TCN relay node. That's just miles outside New Adana. That's bold, even for Gideon. Set course. On our way, sir. Say goodbye and you... Was it the implant? Ma'am, the order came through to evacuate all non-personnel. We'll take care of him. Okay, okay, just one second, please. I almost lost you once. Don't put me through that again. Okay, okay, okay. I love you. Sir, I've got General Riggs on the comm. Commander, Giddings extremists are moving on the Scrin Tower research station. Both General Secretary Rios and Kane are on site. Intercept and offer protection to both. This is a very tenuous political climate. We cannot afford to lose momentum right now. Riggs out. Commander, you're quite an adept leader. But you should know, there is much more to this war and to this Tiberium network than what's been revealed to you. Let me show you the truth. Join me and leave the ignorance of GDI behind you. Wait, Commander. Don't listen to this animal. You know who he is, what he's done. You know you can't trust him. Colonel James is obsessed and confused. Would you rather trust her at this crucial hour? Commander, don't let him corrupt your principles of a GDI soldier. Stay with me. 
and we'll put an end to this insanity. Your choice, Commander. This is Evelyn Rios' master plan? Sicking Colonel James on women and children? Are we going to allow state-sponsored murder? As the civilian body count rises, it's becoming clear that the cost of protecting the TCN is becoming incredibly high. TCN? I'm sick of all that. When am I going to get some clean running water on my land? We're all dying out here and nobody's doing squat. I urge the people of the world to remain calm until the investigation is complete. I have the fullest confidence that Colonel James's actions will be shown to have been necessary. We're in the middle of a crisis here. It's not an easy request for me to make, Louise, but with everything at stake. Is this your idea or hers? It's just the hearing, Colonel. You have no idea what it's like out here. We cannot maintain the TCN without public support. If we want to keep the Yellow Zones content, we need to undermine Gideon's message. Kane says if... Kane says? Look. I know. Colonel, scouts have spotted Gideon's troops on the outskirts of New Adana. We can argue public relations at a later time when the city's safe. James out. I'm sorry, sir. There's no sign of her body. I can't believe you. These were Kane's men. He was there. He was... You blind son of a bitch. Son, she goes after Kane and we're gonna lose yellow zones for good. TCN will be as good as... Rios gets wind of this and James is done. Leave Colonel James of her command and confide her to quarters for now. That's an order, Commander. Looks like you have a decision to make. You are a true soldier, Commander. Natural GDI. Kane won't get away with this. He's going to pay for Lily. He's going to pay for it all. Once again, aggressive GDI military action has resulted in more human tragedy. Blame me for all the chaos. But it is simply the oppressed who are trying to finally be heard. Is this the golden future you promised us, Rios? I mean, you tell me. Does it look like our problems are over? The greatest accomplishments in human history have never been easy. At this very moment, we have a choice. Be complacent and await our doom or act. The TCN hubs are broadcasting to the Scrin Tower. I can't believe this. The Scrin... The Scrin took everything from me. My Tom, my Alex. And now he... Kane wants to bring those damn aliens back. I won't. I can't let this happen. If Riggs knew about this, he couldn't ignore this. Sergeant Nash, what's our status? Cole's pulled out all our power. All systems are down. Flying blind, Colonel. Ma'am, I have General Riggs. Last chance. Okay, let's do this. General, we have verified intel. Kane is using the TCN to bring back the Scrin Tower. He's trying to bring back the Scrin. This has gone on quite long enough. Colonel James, you have repeatedly and deliberately disobeyed direct orders from GDI High Command. Your actions have not only endangered the TCN, but also have caused hundreds, if not thousands, of civilian deaths. General Riggs, relieve Colonel James of her command. Wes, you can't ignore this. Louise, listen to yourself. Kane, the Scrin, all of it. You sound like you're losing your damn mind. I'm sorry. 
General Secretary Rios, due to your failing to respond to a credible threat of the global community, you have demonstrated an inability to meet the duties Colonel, of your if office. You attempt to overthrow this In accordance to GDI bylaws, I am placing you under arrest GDI and declaring a state of martial law. You are please, ordered please. to stop all of your command men. activities your and await my arrival. Men. General Riggs. Louise. James out. Connect me with the fleet. Channel's open. This is Colonel Louise James. Due to the gross negligence of our governing parties, I am now declaring martial law. My forces will be arriving shortly in the capital. My intentions are to remove all of those who have placed our world in great danger. Men, you will be engaging with GDI forces. Anyone who is not prepared for the consequences, you have one minute to break formation. That is all. To those individuals attempting to overthrow our rightfully elected government, I say this, surrender immediately. If you do not comply within the hour, you will be considered an enemy of the state and may be shot on sight. We'll see about that. Get me the strike team. Strike team, do you have the general secretary? Strike team leader, what is your status? We've got reports of breaches throughout the ship, fore and aft. It's them. Get security back online. Down. On your knees. Get down. Truth is gonna come out, Wes. You know it will. You just couldn't let go, could you, Louise? Get her out of my face. Yes, the criminals are in custody and will be dealt swift justice. I'd like to also make clear that the TCN is not only secure, but is in its final testing phase. Earlier today, we received this shocking video showing Dr. Pascal's brutal murder at the hands of Gideon. <laughs> Pascal was apparently one of five recipients of an optical implant connected to the TCN. This makes four of five recipients murdered by Gideon's crack squads. This one. No time for introductions. Let's move. Stay close. Somebody important wants you out. I can stop it. I can stop it. Get used to that. Once you're out, they'll be gunning for you. But it's better than being down here where you don't exist. Dismissed. James is at the tower, but she's going to need support. I've arranged for a gap in the security rotation. There's no one between here and Dock 3L. I bought you 10 minutes. You get caught, you're on your own. Now get moving. How exactly 
exactly did the coup leaders escape prison, nobody here seems to know. The formal investigation has yet to yield any conclusive explanation. But the drama doesn't end there. The Nod radical Gideon, GDI's most wanted, has apparently disappeared. Has he gone into hiding? Or is this simply the calm before the storm? We're not quite sure what to make of this as thousands of acolytes gather in a camp outside the dormant Scrin Tower. Nod leader Kane is expected to address the gathering here later today. This is it, man. Kane's going to finally show the world that he is the Messiah. Woo! Yeah! Finally. And finally, we know when and we know where. You and the men have been loyal to the truth. Thank you just... just isn't enough. One last battle. For my sons. For your wife. Today we see Cain dead. Sir, the bridge is yours. We have been misled by the fear mongers, by the lies of false prophets. But the charlatan has been brought to heal. In position. Now, join with me. Come on, you bastard. One step. And together we will form a more unified nod. Join with me now. Come on. And we will. Ascend together. Come on. Peace. Taking the shot. You. Damn it. No confirmed kill. Get to the tower. You see Kane, don't think, don't speak. Finish him. Lily is dead, Commander. There may be blood on my hands, but none of hers. Did your friend Colonel James not share this with you? No, of course she didn't. She needed her hatred of me to become yours, so that you could become her puppet. Listen, learn your true purpose. The Tiberium Control Network and your implant, both are from the Tacitus. Both are from me. Your implant is the key to the portal. There were others, but Gideon took them from me. You are all I have left now. Only you. Your implant, your energy, can activate the Skrin portal. With that, you can save this planet, and I can finally leave this Earth. For me, ascension is real. Deny me if you must, but do so knowing that you doom this planet to an endless cycle of war. Commander, stand down! He knows the truth, Colonel. Listen to me, Commander. You activate that portal, you'll destroy everything. This is Cain! We have him! We can end the fighting right here! You know what you have to do. Fulfill your destiny. Save this planet! Enough! Enough of your lies! He took everything. He'll do it again.
Scientists are saying this surge at the Scrin Tower is the last piece in the TCN's completion. They're already seeing signs of Tiberium dissipation near the nodes. Well, I thought it was just going to be one of those weird cult things again. I mean, but they really did disappear. We can all be proud of this historical moment. We've survived the worst, and our faith in humanity has persevered. We did it. Thank you, all of you, and good night. The Scrin Tower now appears to be dormant again, but it was here where thousands of Kane followers simply vanished after entering the tower. Kane's gone? Yeah, right.